Hey there, everybody. Fat here, and welcome back. Fat plays Age of Wonders. Four. What do we succeed in? Pact of Loyalty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good news. Needless to say. So. Where we gotta go over here? Eh, we're probably gonna go attack these lads. There's only... There's only six. I hope that's the case, but... Oh, well, there's someone hiding. Who the hell are you? Who's this big boy? Karag. It's a big boy, all right. He's a bone-shattering owl. Terrifying gorging. And a couple swamp trolls. They're not pleasant looking. Spring fairy. Storm scale serpent. Okay, lots of interesting enemies over there. We do need to pay attention to Slavehold, though, because we need to try to get them to the next level for the Pact Vassalage. Not quite there yet. Alright. 72 days. Salvation is researched. <clears throat> A full heal that dispels negatives. That's pretty good. Anointed people. Another transformation. Grants spirit and, stat and uh, status resistances. Yeah. Good things, good things. Windborne Scouts. Grants Enchanted Units Flying Mounts. I mean, that could be good. Sure, why don't we get that researched? Might as well. Okay, head down here. What does it take to uh, boost the Allegiance? It's going to take 144, so I can do that next turn. Works for me! Well, we can't attack them this turn. So, for now, just get across the river. Eh, I thought there'd be more. I'm not surprised there are more hiding. It's a tranquility pool that they're, guide they're guarding down there. Okay, and then down here, we are going to found a city here eventually. Problem is, they're building right now. But the problem with it is that it's going to take time. It's going to take effort. It's going to take Imperium. And I don't have that third one right now. Not to give away. So, we'll have to think about what we can do there. So, we did take on a big fight to get this province safe. Now there's another big one over here, though, and they have a lot more. They are scary. Let me tell you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Could throw down an Earth Shatter to do some physical damage, but that's not a lot. Ten damage to everyone is paltry as hell. So they all have over 100 health. And we do not have that advantage on our team. So we're probably going to need higher level enemies. Or enemies. Higher level, level allies to make something happen there. I don't see any way around that. Alright, Ashwall, how we doing? Uh, I could speed up the Caltrips. For a little bit of money, but I think it'd be more important to build something. Mmm. Let me put the teleportation on the docket. Yeah, yeah. Mana hold, how you doing? Mint, practically done. Go ahead and buy it. Let's get that finished. Copper load, also working on a mint. Go ahead and buy it. Comes back for us. You know, we get the, we get the we get the investment back eventually. Yes, they produce the mint because I told them to. Wouldn't you know? Oh, hi! You're attacking us. All right. Specifically, they are going after Alvar, but that's okay. I mean, they have 300. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. If something bad happens here. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, they are... They're all level 2 as well. This should be really straightforward. At least in theory. Uh -huh. Alright, move our bastions forward. Let's just move everyone forward. Get straight into it. Okay. Zerkers, move up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just... Whoop, didn't mean to double-click you there. Anvil Guard, sorry about that. I'm not even summoning yet. Remind me, what does the Staff of Radiance do to everyone around you? Let's see... Activates warding defense. Okay. Yeah. 
is good. Okay, come on up. You attacked us, so you have to fight. Can't just wait around in the back for something to happen. I got lightning blast. Does that jump? It is not. Okay, so it's a single blast. Seems like weak sauce. I'm surprised they felt emboldened to attack at all. Because it really does sound like they have weak sauce going on. Okay. Could send up our bastions right away. Uh, do I want to send up anyone right away, honestly? Yeah, let them come to us. Come on. Start attacking. We know you wanna. Nice graze. Nice six. Nice graze again. Alright. Now it's our turn. Yeah. Uh Kablamo. -huh. Good stuff. Our blessed might be able to oh well, well, not if we don't move over. Mm, that still doesn't get a kill, but still good damage. Steel Shaper might be able to get the kill instead. Nope, not enough. It's fine, it's fine, we're fine. Go up here and blast them. That's all there is to it. Give me the double here. With the wind, the Zephyr shot. Hell yeah. Okay. Alvar. Can you kill that dude? So that's what that's what would be very important. Is if you could kill that dude. You cannot. But you can bleed him and decay him. So now he can't uh -huh. heal. So that's helpful. All right, good stuff. Come on over. See what we got going on over here. Uh, go from down. Go downtown. Shot from downtown. Beautiful hit. Gotta love it, and I do. Okay, move up here, Steel Shaper. You attack this one. Let's see if the fairies can finish off that dude and they can't probably because we do not have the accuracy on our side okay so i'm the only one left which means it's time to think about things a bit move here you cannot kill that one in one hit you can kill that one in one hit drop a rock on this one dead <laughs> Alrighty then. And dead. Boop. Right on your face. Beautiful. Couple of promotions. No damage. Practically no damage taken by our team. A little bit. A little bit. Alright. Let's see. Get a, get a granary on the docket here. So we can get more people. Alright, back down to slave hold. Ten turns, boost the allegiance. Now it's down to five. We're, we got it. That's all we need. Don't need to invest anymore. Okay. They got five units here, technically. Arcanist, Phantasm Warrior, and these three. You're different. You're an Astral Siphoner. I can tell you're stronger because you're purple. You're a Spellbreaker. Okay. Move up closer. Aha, uh -huh, that's what I thought. Phase Dogs. And the Mirror Mimic. I had the feeling there was going to be something hiding. Wasn't sure what it would be. But I'm not surprised. Let's engage. Okay, we should still be able to win this fight, though. Even with a bunch of really strong-looking enemies. All right. This guy's going to mimic one of us. It's fine. You can do that. That's always been allowed. Lost Wizard, of course, has a lot of spell-based activity. Phantasm Warrior can reflect non-physical damage. These are the things we need to be aware of. Okay. Anvil Guards. Move up here. Just get on the get on the steps. Right, get me my elemental. It's fire, bro, so he's a ranged bro. It's good to know, bro. Okay, let's go to the side over here. We're going to gather everyone on these steps, I think. It's my current idea. Is it a good one? Oh. Maybe not everyone, though. Maybe the Berserker can come around the other way. We'll see if that works out for us. It's a risk. Might not be a good one, but you never know until you try. Actually, the Bastion can go with him, too. 
Remember, they have a secondary army over there, too. Let's see what they do. Okay, you're moving up. Okay, they just moved up. That's all, so far. We could teleport you now. If we wanted to. Or we could go for the triple. Chance of burning. Bit of damage. Let's go for it. Got burning on one of them. Yeah, it's good stuff. Let's go ahead and slow them down. Okay, I do like that slow. Oh, right. Their spellbreaker will get advantages off of that. We need to stomp them out as soon as possible. Whenever that's going to be. <sighs> Ooh. We can give them diseased and poisoned. Oh, can we get that up here? Hmm. Where is the better place to get that? Well, that is my question. Okay, we got the Zephyr shot available. Get it on the uh, purple book. Purple guy. There you go. Pop him. That's what I wanted to see. Go ahead and give me some bolstered defenses over here. I, mean, I could lightning from here. Can I evoke? I can. I can't evoke fire. I think I'd rather evoke the... Mm, no, I would rather get this going first. Okay. Half of our team now has some extra abilities on the docket. Give me the blizzard. 15 damage. Pretty great. You come over this way and hold up. You give me some extra defense to our steel shapers. Or not to our steel shapers, to our bastions. Mm, yes, do that. Okay. Good little bit of damage, and it displaced the uh, phase beast. Could have you head straight up there. Actually, yeah, let's do that. You head straight up that way, you head straight up this way. Slap them. Good crit. Slap them from the other side. You don't get hit back. Well, except for the mirror veil. But we're fine. You defend. Alvar, what are you going to do, my friend? Hmm. I'm going to have you actually head this way and help them. You can't ride this turn, but that's okay. Good. Okay. Now it's their turn to do nasty stuff to us. Ow, that was a start. <sighs> okay. Just some magic. Oh, that debuffed too. Wow. Or got rid of buffs. Cosmic Barrage. That's going to suck. I can tell even before seeing the name. Does that dude still get moves or does he have to use his moves to teleport? I honestly don't remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, just like 20 to 30 damage to everyone. That's cool. Blinking bastards. Hi, yi yi. Okay, you can't blink at least. All right. Lots of damage on their side. Okay. Got a lot of problems here. First one is these guys. How do you only have a 70%? Oh my gosh, what? Um, shoot. You, blast this one. Move. Oh, come on! You knocked him... Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, I can, I can, I can work with this. Now you're flanked, so it's still going to be normal. Hmm. You have to think about that. You're going to give me the magic bolts here. Get him with the fire. That's good damage. That's a kill. Good. Now, our Zephyr archers should be able to... Oh, come on. Move over one. Attack their archers. Anvil guard. Get up here and get them. Make them have to run. Can't flank them. So I might as well just do something else. Okay, this is an easy kill. Yep. This is Arcanist up here? Yes. Chase them off, because they're a lot of damage. That could cause us a lot of problems. Stab for 15, Magic Blast for 20. I mean, the Magic Blast is going to be better. Okay. Oh, yeah, you. Magic bolts. Get two bolts here on the Zephyr Archer. Oh, boy. 
I'm almost thinking we go for the crushing earth on the Zephyr Archer. Bam. Killed it. It is stunned and it has some health still. Because video games. But that should help us out for a bit. Mm. Ah, the lightning would bounce. I think that's what I want to do. Bounce the lightning. Okay, they're electrified. They had their resistances sundered. It's all good things. What's the highest percentage I can get here? 50%? I'll have to go with it. Oh my god. And we still got a miss. Are you the last one that can move? You are. Oh! Um, oh, that's... R don't you have slippery? You don't trigger opportunity attacks. Move back. You're actually really good. Um, I don't know if you're going to live. I'm hoping you are. We're going to find out. Okay, he has Astral Rift now. You just cast that. Just because he wants to. Summons a fish. That sucks. You going after our spirits? Yeah, you are. Okay. Jeez. That damage. Oh my gosh, he ran way over there to kill him. Keeper's Mark keeps him alive for a minute. That's not going to last for a while, though. Or last for long. Okay. You finish these ones off. Done. Finish off this guy. Okay. You can finish off this creature. That's good. You are stunned. Fuck. Do you have any extra armor? You do have a little... Oh, you know what? Bolstering chant. Bolster him. Okay, and then go even farther. Come over here. And turn that into health. Nice. Okay. He might live. <laughs> Big might. Would be great, though. You teleporting bastard. Will this get the kill? The overdraw? He will. Nice. Okay. And then there were three. And they're a fairly tough three, though. Okay, I haven't moved yet. What can I do? I could go for more heals. I want to get this guy, though. I got to get this guy out somehow. Got to knock him out of the game. Hit him with this. Okay, he's burning. It's all on fire. Really, the best you could do is one attack? That sucks. You move up. You also move up here, Alvar, and I'm thinking we go for a heal on this guy. Because we can. Bastions, you just stay there and defend, I think. Hmm. Steel Shapers. I think I'm just going to have you move up as well. <sighs> Sucks. I was really hoping I could get you a little bit closer. Or get another shot off of you or something like that. Okay, get up here. Can you heal anybody from here? Mm, yes. Okay. Cool. You don't need healing, though. So instead, give some bolster defense back to this guy. I think it's the best we got. Okay. So there's a fish. There's the big caster. And then they're fumbling. They're screwing up. Of course you can teleport. <laughs> of course you can. Why wouldn't you be able to teleport? Everyone can teleport. Kill this fish. Okay. Well then. I need our berserker to get up front and ready to fight. Bastion, you get back. I'm trying to keep you from dying. Anvil Guard, you're going to need to get back too. At some point. Okay, you over this way. Do you have a triple attack? You do. That sucks. Sucks for us. Well, 90% from here. Go for it. You got great damage. Got to take advantage of it. You don't. 
Give yourself defense. Although that's not going to help much now that I think about it. Do you have a melee? This guy does not have a melee attack. So it would be worth it to go catch him. Hey. Okay. Mm. Actually, blast him with the blizzard. The slow doesn't do much for us, but it's guaranteed damage. And it was a crit. Mm, no matter what, we are going to have to move a bit. Oh, right. You're, you also explode into the area, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's fiery terrain in a one hex around the unit. He then teleports... Oh, he deals damage and then moves. Oh, don't do this. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. That's terrible. Um, Just burn him. Okay. Let's see who's left. Got some steel shapers able to move. Uh, get 85% here. Let's go for it. There's a good chance we'll be able to kill him this turn. I can't believe the Arbalest can't hit him from here. Five. Yeah, that's what I want. Five percent. How'd you know? Nice. Okay. And then there was one. And he needs to go down. Okay, everyone move toward... Except you. Anvil Guard, you get the hell out of here. Okay, you're hurt. I want you safe. Alright, move my ass up. Go ahead and throw down some protection here on our Steel Shaper. I got 35 points left. And honestly, I think I'm going to spend it, some of it at least, on conjuring a platform back here to screw with him. His morale sucks. He's going straight for the damage. He mi oh, he missed one, though. And fumbled the other two. Then, then. Okay, perfect. Beat his ass. Woo! That's some real damage. Let's keep it going. Alright. I'll just move over here. Give him a little bit of this blinding. Nice, nice. Winter fairies? You, yeah, I'm gonna want your attacks too. I need everyone to come over here. Start doing everything they can. Some of you can do more than others, to be fair, but... Yeah, get on the big circle. I don't know what the big circle's for, but get on it. Give me poison? No decay. It's unfortunate, but not unexpected. Can you be healed, fairies? No. I can heal you next turn if I do this, though. Okay, fire bro, you need to start moving. You are slow, dude. You are sadly slow. Okay, animal guards, stay back. Uh, Zephyr archers, you can stay back, too. Okay, I think we're good. What you gonna do with all that junk? Mm, okay, you missed a, you missed something that doesn't move. I mean, I know you're blinded, but still, I'm a little a little disappointed in you either way. Get them Zephyr Archers. Yep. That's the sauce. Big boy fall down. And we get a promotion and a level up. You're promoted. Champion. One more and you get the Evoker trait. Nice. Very cool, very cool. Love to level up on Alvar. All of that for a Staff of Decay? Yes. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, well. Shoot. <laughs> I was hoping for more. Alright, Alvar. How you doing? Okay, what do you have levels in right now? Battle magic and support. Always support. Mm-hmm. Spur to action? Uh, give someone a free move. That could definitely be good. Do you fill up their movement, or do you just give them one more? Regains its action points, so theoretically all of them. Give me that. That's an awesome support ability. Yes, we already have a staff. We have a second one now. I don't need two of them. And honestly, I don't feel like you need a staff of radiance as well. I don't think everybody needs a dang staff. Alright. Uh -huh. Well, we gotta heal up. 
And even then, I'm not sure we'll be ready to fight. Eh, they have far less. Maybe we would be ready to fight them. This one is even spicier, though. We do not have the points to fight that group. Probably because we need to get rid of these Arbalists. I mean, even a legendary Arbalist, you know, can only do so much, I would imagine. I mean, Eagle Eye is great. But they're still only a tier one unit. I don't know. They have a good amount of damage on them. All things considered. I think it's really just about getting getting a good shot. But yeah, all of these units are tough as hell. If we focus them, we could uh -huh. maybe do something. But right now, they're also... Both armies are hurt. So let's not do anything with you yet. You're fine. You're fine where you are. Okay. What do we got? Windborn Scouts. We can give scouts flying mounts. How good for them. Tremor Ritual. Start a combat, destroys towers and stuff. Eh, that's cool. Consecrated Domain. Target a friendly city. Resistance and morale at the start of the battle in that city's domain. I mean, that's cool. Knowledge at the cost of stability. You know what? We can shuffle the research. Shuffle it around. To Rune of Industry. Non-industrious units gain bolstering. You know, there's a lot that would be affected by that. Magical units gain frenzy. Increases damage when they attack. Let's get that one. What's new? This stuff's new. Can't afford it right this second, but... Right of the Astral Summons. Immediately summon an army of magic origin units with low maintenance at your throne city. That's pretty cool. Surge spell casting. Casting a combat spell reduces the cost of all other, all other combat spell types by 25% for two turns. It's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Uh-oh, a treaty expired. Oh, we're no longer trading with them. We were getting food. I think we're good to not get more food right now. We're fine. Okay. Our outpost now has stone walls. Check it. You can see them. They're all wall-like and stony. It's pretty great. Hmm. We can wait for a turn so that we can turn that into a city, I think. Okay, you have a shrine. It's pretty good, copper load. Let's go ahead and boost up our town center. Get something better going. And we can boost up our obelisk as well. Okay. I mean, they're only 1,200. We need to heal, though. We need to heal. Let's not pretend that we're ready to fight, because we're not. All right? You two stay camped for now. Y'all need to heal up, too. We have a third army that is actually fully formed over here now. So I tell you what, let's bring you down as well. You're laughing about it. You're ready to go. Let's go. Okay. We have 360 bucks. I want more. Part, part of the reason I want more is because I want to do some diplomacy. Some trading. I want to buy some stuff. Arcanist done. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're making a lot of Arcanist here. Okay. You still need to heal. So do that. Both of these. You still need to heal. You don't, but you need to get down to, where, to the rest of our army. So you work on that. You wait here. Outpost. Turn into a city. I could turn you into Ashborn Hedonist City. It would actually take less time. But no, this should be an Imperial City because we could use the Great Builders. Yeah, Quarries Yield Gold. That's really good. Whereas you get Powerful Evokers and Prolific Swarmers. Yeah, no, no, no. Imperium City is going to be better. Do it. Save up a little bit more cash. And then let's talk to some of our friends over here. Minus five. Minus 50. Eh, it is what it is. They don't have to like me. Necessarily. Toxic Stew. After a diplomatic dinner with your envoys, you are contacted by a pale Baroness Melania of Slavehold. I know I'm just a lesser Baroness in the eyes of, of a first protector, she says anxiously, but I need to learn the truth. 
After trying the stew you Imperium are famous for, my taster bloated with gas until the poor man was ripped apart from within, turning the buffet into a nauseating mess. I keep thinking, was this man's death supposed to be my own? Do you seek my demise? Uh, of course you want money. Well, I guess I gotta pay you off now so that I can get this quest done. Now your diplomatic bonds with the ambitious vermin of Slavehold have developed. We knew you wouldn't fail us, my first protector. The ambassador's words are accentuated by wide gestures as she grins from ear to ear. We are gladdened to learn that your empire and Slavehold celebrate mutual interest. And so do your Imperium and their ambitious vermin. May our people and cultures prosper forevermore. Okay. Our new heroes are eager to visit our cities. Who among them should we invite first? So we get all... All cities get 53 stability, which is great. Invite your citizens to show off our great works and monuments. Additional stability. Traders. Oh, okay, that's good. 81 per turn everywhere. Or laborers to increase construction speed. That's tempting. But give me the gold. I want the gold back. All right, we've doubled our gold income. Which is awesome. Frenzying focus has been completed. We'll do a tome first. Transportation circle's done over here which means we need to put something else on the construction docket to the academy because i don't want to spend that much mana obelisk done over here i don't have to spend more for that archon blood acquired because we are now friends with the rats it's extra combat casting points which is awesome and now we have this order one too a new whispering stone sure give it to me i can use that to increase the stability of any city I want. Or, or I can give that to another neutral group, High Ridge over here, the frog people. Oh, they're already vassalized. So I guess I can't. Alrighty then. A lesson learned. Well, how are my cities doing stability wise? Just in general. I can't see that from here. Why can I not see stability from here? That's weird, right? All right. Well, 52. 56. 99. And 16. All right. Give them a Whispering Stone. Beautiful. Negotiation succeeded. We got our uh, got a stone back from somewhere. Let's see. We get all of their magic materials, and then we'll see their units in the Rally of the Lieges, which I'm looking forward to. Oh, because... I, I see. Because Center Pike has Supreme Vassalage. That's why. They share half their income. All their magic materials contribute a bunch to the Rally of the Lieges. Trading costs less, and if I want to, I can integrate them. This seems like a fine deal. Yeah, we'll take some food. Cool. Hey, new book. Tier 4 book. Tome of the Golden Realm. Luxury markets. Buy now. It's 25% cheaper. It can be used two times per world map turn. Oh, I kind of want that. Gold. That, is that an enchantment that has to be cast? I think that's just something you can research. Gold Golem. It's a tier 5 unit with a gilded strike. 60% chance of inflicting gilded. When this unit got, dies, you get 20 gold. Damn. Deals damage to all gilded units within a three hex radius. If any are killed, heal. Wow. Golden curse. Dude, what? Gold touched. Makes the target race gain an infinity for gold. One gold per population. Minus two resistance. Gilding blast. Guilds enemies. Reagent refinery. Gain 20 gold for each magical material in this city's domain. Okay, that's cool. We also get the Bazaar of Wonders that we could build. 10 gold plus 5 for every unique adjacent province improvement. Which means we should probably build more. Root of Materium. Gilded Magic. It's a skill. It makes critical hits with magic and flip gilded for a turn. There's also the Tome of the Crucible. Lava Burst. 40 damage. Burning, slowed, ground is set on fire. Fortified Crucible. Battlements against ranged and magic attacks. It's a city structure. Okay. Cool. Pyroclastic Eruption. Target province 
improvements are destroyed. Wow, all units in the province gain 15 fire damage and it's transformed into desolate terrain. Yikes. Meteor shower. Impact next to random enemies when you cast this, as well as the start of your turns. All your turns? Last three turns, okay. Each meteor deals 15 damage of fire and physical, so 30 damage in a one hex radius. Okay, meteor arrows. Five fire damage to target and adjacent units and able to destroy reinforced stuff. You can build a great foundry and get meteor strikes. Melee and physical range attacks get fire damage to one and everyone around. I want the gold. I want the gold golem and I really want the luxury markets. That's what I think I want. Gold. Yes. The king and queen of minerals. Yes. Coveted by all mortals who greedily and deeply delve into the ground. Aren't it? Isn't it though? Truly gain mastery over this most gilded aspect of Earth, and mm -hmm. you will find that all that glitters actually is gold. Thus, yeah. you shall become one with the riches of the Earth. All right, get me the gold golem because it's it's here and I can select it right away. Cool. All right, all of our units require movement, of course. I really need to start looking into these province improvements. I've not been building these. And they can give you a lot if you do. So, I guess I just, what I need to do is look at the ones that say they count as something. Like, this counts as a quarry. So I can put this on any quarry. And it will count as that. This one counts as a conduit. So if I have an existing conduit, I could put it there. And it won't be a problem. You know? The root of Materium. Materium spells are 20% cheaper. Materium buff and healing spells grant two bolster defense. Hmm. We'll reveal its location to all other empires. It doesn't count as anything, though. Yeah, all of these are required for mastery. Okay. This counts as a conduit. Takes away mana. Enemies cannot cast world map spells in this domain. Cannot cast spells in combat in this domain. So I could put this up here. It would actually help with stability. Actually, that might be worth it, yeah. Put that on the docket. Uh, Sanctuary. Also counts as a conduit. Province improvements cannot be pillaged while this province is intact. I can see the use for it. For sure. There aren't any that count as farms, which is unfortunate. Well, where do we have a mine? We have a mine right here. So this... Yeah, this becomes way more... Way more giving. Let's see, mana per adjacent quarry. Unit deployment. Look, you can deploy units there. Okay. I don't know about anything else there for now. Uh, we kind of spent a lot of gold anyway. We got 500 gold coming per turn right now. Okay, they're almost there. And they're almost sealed up. So we're getting there. Hey, don't worry about it. Uh, you're still healing. You, what? You explore the whole map? Is that why you're doing this? You found this deep sea Nimu? That's a deep sea Nimu, all right, I assume. Did you get lost? Don't know where else to explore now? Yes, I know I have nine spells ready to cast. Frenzing focus. Could be tempting. Upkeep would be wicked. I kind of want to... Let's put Transportation Circle... We're not going to cast it. We're going to make it ready to cast. Just in case we suddenly need it someday. Okay. What do we got? Mana Hold is produced an Arcanist. Of course. As they do. As they do. Anything else going on here? They got plenty going on. I don't need to worry about them. Uh, Silver Strahd have made a tavern. Okay, you need something new. How about how about you get a province improvement? Hey, eh? you got what do you got? Conduit, mine, quarry, quarry, quarry. You got a lot of quarries. Right here would be a great place for something that works off of quarries. So the builders' quarters is built off of quarries. So the central quarry. What's the difference between these? One of them's cheaper. I see that. I guess just one of them is cheaper. Per adjacent quarry. Yeah. Well, then that one's better. 
needless to say. And it's going to take zero turns to build. So it's going to, yeah, it's going to quintuple our production over here. Done. Easy. Beautiful. And since that happened instantly, I can still tell them to do something else too. So let's do a stonemason for now. Set production. Oh, Gauntlet is our new place. Cool. All right, we got one. Let's go ahead and attract some people here right away. And we're going to grab this Firestone Forge. We're going to put a quarry on it, I think. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Give me a farmstead and then give me a workshop and you'll be good for now. Gauntlet's been founded, yes. Gauntlet doesn't have a governor. We can change that. You don't have a city. So, Rhonda, congrats. Here's your city. Cool. We have the forge now. Units cost less draft, which means we can recruit faster. Ashwall can grow. Beautiful. Where to? Well, Manahold's kind of got a lot of this area right here. Um, a hey. Iron deposit. Yeah, grab this gold. There we go. Nice. Yeah, recruiting speed for most... Eh, not most, but a lot of units is one now. Copper load can grow. Copper load has a weird shape to it right now. <laughs> Unfortunately. The farm by the river would help it grow faster. I think we should do farms. Copper load could be huge. Draw farms from over here. Yeah. It has the potential. Okay. Yes, I know we can... I don't want to return anyone. I'm saving that spell. Alright. I guess I could cast a bunch of these and save them up too, but... I don't know if I need to. Um... If I do this, can I just have that at the ready too? Yes, I can. Alright, yeah. yeah. Call it a good investment. Because that's what I'm calling it. Okay, we have 457 bucks. Hey there, how you doing? We have a lot of justification to go to war with you, Zaythel. Just letting you know. You probably don't care. Um, what do you got? Bloody Edge, we got that. Storm Orb. So tier 3, Magic Bolts and Quick Stab. It's not that impressive. Book of Siegecraft. Grants Siege Breaker to all units in the army. <sighs> These aren't that good. I had my expectations so high. Well, how are you doing, Siernan? Do you have anything good? Vampire spider. Is that a mount? It is a mount. Barbed webs. Bleeding, immobilized, and lifesteal. I hate it. Ankh of the Phoenix. One turn after this unit dies, it comes back with 40% of its health and deals 15 damage to adjacent units. Cool. Monster Slayer. Tier 3 primary bow. It does 30% extra damage to large threats. Give me this. I'll pay for this. None. Alright. Do I want to fight this turn? We should be able to stomp them. Our chances look pretty good. It would be nice to have a tranquility pool. Oh, we can't stop him this turn. We can get close. Let's do that, then. All right. You. Rhonda. What are you using now? You're using the... Using this. 12 damage. Okay. And this would give you... So much more. Um, Four more per shot, but still. Same accuracy, though. The thing is, most of your stuff, you have precision training. So you'd be better with the bow. Yeah. I think we're going to go with the bow. Helps against monsters, which turns out we're going to be fighting some, probably. I'm guessing you count as a large unit. Yes. 20% easier to hit. Has charge resistance, is immune to most displacement effects, has demolisher. That's what I figured. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. 
All right. Vessels of Chaos. 10% per negative status effect on the target. I don't know when you got that. Do all of the Hedonists have that now? Did you cast it? Because you're you had you did this. Okay. I get it. He did that to not us, but to them. Okay. Understandable. Understandable indeed. That just affects all of us, too. That's the thing. Alright, I want to see if I can get this thing from them. Um, well, if you don't have anywhere else to go, then... Oh, you can highlight all outpost founding locations. Cool. Then, honestly, I think we can tell you to go away. Okay, thanks for coming. Cool. I don't want to recall my ruler right now. Stop it. Yes. Okay. Cool. If we need to do that, then we can do that. Yeah, I could get some cities underground, too, but I don't know who would appreciate that. Okay. Mana obelisk done in copper load. They need to build something new. Well, I was talking about the farm. Man, they really need production income. Their production sucks. So give me that. But yeah, let's get an estate hall ready for them. Silver Strahd can, can expand. This all sucks. This is like five. I guess they'd be a good spot to build a, a province improvement on. In that case. Bandit's Way. It's an ancient wonder. It's a bronze one. Ooh, there's a weapon in there. You know what? I'm changing tactics. I'm going over there. Yeah, start heading that way. I don't know what's in there, but I want it. And then maybe when I can do that... I can claim this spot. We said it's a unit deploy location. Adds ogres. I don't know if it's that worth it. Necessarily. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and expand for now, though. You can head up and get a quarry here. I like it. I like it a bit. And then we have this. It is considered a low-risk battle. Because there's a lot going on here. These are high-risk enemies. 36 damage. It's a one-hit. Or one-shot. So that's the good news. You, Poison Blast. That's also a one-shot attack. So they have a lot of... Are they all one-shot attacks? Yes, they are. All of them have a one-shot attack. Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better about what we're doing. They big. These are some big lads, and I knew they could summon. I do remember hearing about that. What does this thing do? It stings. It does melee. Throw out poisonous spores. It's a combat summon, of course. It can move around too. I mean, that shouldn't surprise me, but you know, you never know. All right. So they're going to come up and attack, probably. Hi, Rhonda. How you doing? What do you got? Inspiring resistance. Unit enters defense mode and adjacent ones get bolstered resistance. That could be useful here. Mass rejuvenation. Warding bond. Okay. I'm going to want everyone to gather around you. I'm going to have your... Since they already kind of isolated themselves up this way, let's try to have you go after this tree up here. You know? Um, move yourself here. Yeah. Alright. You have a lot of melee units, I've noticed. Alright, all of you gather around. Let's get that inspiring resistance. Okay, you're ready. Then everyone else gets to take care of the nastiness down here. 
So, Zephyr. I could have you move in and attack right away, but I don't think that's a good idea. Is this high foliage? It is. Let's get in some decent cover over here if we can. You're already in low foliage, aren't you? Yeah. So I don't know if I need to put you in more. Go up this way. Put you... Get up into this high foliage here. Arbalest, get into the high foliage here. And then maybe you stay back, Steel Shaper. We do have a shot. We'll take it. Since we have it. Just stay in defense mode. You don't have a shot. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Zephyr doesn't have a shot either. Steel Shaper is just going to stand here and wait. Our other Arbalest can also stand here and wait. Okay. In our center army, Thorma. Okay, let's... Let's form a line here. And then you, we can decide what we're going to do in a little bit. Because I don't know what I'm going to have you do, to be honest. I think I'm going to have you come over here and reinforce this side. That's what I'm thinking so far. Okay. Let's see what they do. We've attacked them, so they're going to attack us. What the hell? Okay. That's a problem. I wondered if you could attack from there. That sucks. Okay. That's a regen. From the... From the... You're not a sylph. What are you? A nymph. Okay. What are these? I mean, they're living vines. Tier 1, they have 10 health. They'll go down quickly. Oh, gee. Decaying. That sucks. They can't heal. That should be temporary, though, right? Three turns. Okay. Hmm. So now we've seen some of their shenanigans. I'm not too worried about this guy. At least I shouldn't. I feel like I shouldn't be. The retaliation sucks. Get up here and kill this real quick. Should literally be real quick. There. Done. Okay. Charge up this way. Not close enough yet. That's fine. Oh, man, even our heroes are not close enough. Jeez. That sucks. Just defend. That's fine. Okay, these little shits, though, are going to be a problem. Maybe. I could shock them. That kills all of them. Just takes them right off the battlefield. Do it. Okay. It's a lot of fortune and star blades for us, too. Do you have a... You do not have a melee attack. The Berserker does, obviously, but you don't. So... I want to be prepared for that. Go ahead and bolster the defense of this guy. Our spell shields. Mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead and shoot the one with the 90. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see how many shots we can get in over here. Yep, we got a 90 here. Let's go for it. Cool. Why don't you go up to 44? Immobilize him! Nice! He can't run. They cannot run! This is probably a mistake. You might be able to... No, you won't. We're gonna move up. Yep, pin you here. We'll be fine. Alright. Alright. And now in this direction. Wow, that range. Go ahead and give me the overdraw. Actually, overdraw on this one. If we can get it. Nice. Cancels the defense mode and the retaliation. Now you can attack them with no consequence. Beautiful. Hmm. Okay, you. Halberds might need to stand still for a bit. There's Zephyr archers. Just move up one. Shoot this thing. It's a ton of damage. Love it. Tyrannus. By one. Shoot this thing. Kill it. Beautiful. Then the halberds can move over here. Uh, get right here. Yeah. 
a good spot for you for now. Arbalist can take this high foliage area. Okay, who's left? Oh, the Arbalist does have a shot. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, they've gone berserk. So they're going to attack. Because that's what they do. Not sure how big of... 22 damage, but they got killed for it. Oh, shit. I thought mind control didn't work on hero units. Hold the phone. Hold up. What? Oh, my God, it does. That's crap, man. Ugh. All right. Whatever. Speed through the rest of this. I'm annoyed. I can't believe that shit works on hero units. Um, what what tier is she? Three. Use crushing earth. Dead. <sighs> Brick. At least she only killed an arbalist. That's something I can be happy or not happy, but okay with. Oh my god. And this Berserker has all of its health back? Oh my gosh, you missed a 90% shot, too. Jeez, um. Yeah, give me this arrow here. Okay, that's good. We can kill it. Okay, Berserker's actually dead now. That's good. Good for us. Hmm. Yeah, head over this way. Shoot this guy. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, Tyrannus, I think we're going to need to get some healing done. No, no, don't do any of that. Uh, move over here. Can you be healed yet? No, frick. Ah. Can't do anything with him. Okay, well... Hormone can still move. She can still fight. Head up here. Hit this guy. Nicely done. Didn't get the resistance or anything, but still nicely done. There you go. Yeah, keep taking him out. Throw everything you got at him. How is this Berserker still alive? What is this Steadfast doing? It lasts for the entire turn. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's not fine. We have to pretend it's fine. Lightning weakness. We take advantage of that if we can. All right. Do as much damage against that big boy as we can. Okay. Now over here, we have a much different situation. Arguably better. How do you only have 50% chance obscured by a rock that isn't even as tall as the horse that you're on? I love video games. Don't you? Ugh. Go for the shot anyway. I am actually not happy. What the frick was that? Oh my god, dude. Flank him. Okay. Get right up his ass. Beacon of Hope. We don't need the morale boost right now. Deals damage to the unit. Oh, is that melee too? I guess it is. No, it says it's not. Oh, I see. We're just out of range. Because of course we are. That's fine. Okay. Beat this guy up. Do as much as we can to him. Okay, that was good. Some some good things happened this turn. But we're probably we may lose two units here. Okay, we replace them with higher tier units. That's what we'll do. Okay, going after Torma, who honestly kind of deserves the damage at this point. Because what the frick? Triple weakened. Ouch. Okay, this guy gets slapped by everyone. He runs. He creates another plant. Okay. All right, that was a crit on the attempt to run? Nice. That was beautiful. 
And that one's a dead. Very sweet. What is this? Every two turns, one of the defending units has a 90% chance of, suffer of suffering distracted. All attacks are considered flanking. That's not bad. That is not that bad. <sighs> Still 50%. Alright, come over here and help out someone else. Because good lord. Yeah, come over here. There. That unit's done. Finally. Okay. Don't step on the vines if we can help it. If we can, then we can. But if we can, you know, don't step on the vines. That's why I'm saying it. Still can't believe you only have 50% accuracy there on a guy that big, but whatever. It is what it is. Let's get our Bastion up here as well. Okay, I want him dead. We can flank on this guy too. Sweet. Okay, spell shields, you're hurt. I'm probably going to have you hold off for a minute. Arcanist. Yeah, use the fire and lightning weakness on this guy. Good stuff. Mystic projection, same thing. Zephyr archer. Ugh. Just move up one. Go for the 90. It's good too. Steel shaper, we should be able to heal now. No, it's another turn on it, huh? Okay. We'll hold off, then we'll be patient, if we can. I gotta be patient on it, I have no choice. Ooh, decaying! Look who else can't heal. We might be able to take him out this turn. There's a chance. You might as well move twice and get the 100%. There's a very good chance we take him out this turn. Pop him! Fall, tree boy! Beautiful. Okay, that made me feel good, like busting. Let me tell you. Alright, Torma. Take this one out. Bam! Alright. And then there was one big tree man. You just stay here and stay alive if you can. And now for the big tree man. Give me chain lightning on these things. Get him away from me. Okay. We're going to have to worry about the plant. The plant's not a big problem by itself. Nice, nice, nice. Triple. Yeah, you better run, boy. You better keep running, boy. Because we're going to keep chasing. Damn it. Freaking plant. Attack it. Get this plant out of here. Alright, let's move. Jeez, they wasted her teleport and everything. Frustrating. Okay, your horse actually is good for something. Look at that. Beautiful. How much health does this thing have? Ten? I just drop a rock on him? Yup. <laughs> Boop. When in doubt, drop a rock on him. God damn. Oh, we lost the legendary one, too. I was already thinking of retiring that one. Son of a gun. Torma made it to level 9. Got some points on everyone, though. Alright. Good stuff. Alright, Torma. Uh, one more level and you get a new skill. A new signature skill. Martial expertise will give us a little bit of damage. Killing momentum. Regains an action point when killing another unit. Works once per turn. That is great to get you in the thick of it. I want that. Okay. Beautiful. End turn. End turn. End turn. That... I mean, it didn't work out exactly the way I wanted it to, but it worked out alright. I like how they're trying to farm on this terrain. <laughs> this poor garbage terrain. That's okay. They're going to grow next turn. You know? That's how you know everything's going to be alright. Let's have Mana Hold grow this turn, though. Why is this? Oh, because that's a farm and this is a hut. Yeah, that's why. 
pretty obvious when you think about it for two seconds. I'm going to let Gauntlet take as much of this area down here as possible. So let's get ourselves another quarry. Actually, let's get a farm. That's from 13 or 23 to 20. Works for me. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. How's the rally looking? Three more turns. I'm looking forward to the next one. The rally system is neat. I like it. Okay, so we gotta expand down here some more, but we almost have, like, I don't know, about half the map. You're stuck down here. I don't know if you have any hold underground. Tin walls down here. Do you belong to anyone? No. Take a Whispering Stone, friend. Let's talk. Well, let's, let's meet. Okay, there's some evil down there. Slavehold, of course, is over here. They like us. We like them. I don't know if we would join up with them just because they're underground. They're also evil. Which isn't a, you know, maybe not necessarily a deal breaker, but it kind of feels like it should be. Tinwall, are you evil? Mole people? No, they're nice. They're good. The mold warps. Them gifted casters and chosen uniters. They get 10 good alignment just by default. It's interesting. They're also industrious like we are, so should be easy rares. That said, that is going to be it for this episode of that plays Age of Wonders 4. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. If you want to see more, you might keep coming. It might, it might keep coming. Thanks again for watching uh, this episode of... Hmm of Age of Wonders 4. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, everybody-os. Yo.